Hi, this is Bob Scully, and welcome to another edition of our show. So far, in the past couple of years on The World Show, you've met King Hussein of Jordan, who, uh, despite his uh, reported illness, well-reported illness, is certainly still playing a key role in the unfolding scenarios in that part of the world. Uh, you've met Prince Alexander of Yugoslavia, who would love to play such a role in a very, very difficult uh, time um, in uh, his former kingdom of Yugoslavia. He would become king of uh, Serbia and Montenegro. You've uh, met someone who's not nearly so anxious to get on the throne, but he is the man who would be king in France, Le Comte de Paris, if monarchy ever returned to that country, and it nearly happened um, in the 60s. And tonight, I want to introduce you to the man who was king of Greece, Constantine, until 1967. He was deposed at that time by the infamous, uh, the so-called regime of the colonels, which you saw in the movie Z. Now, I've listed all these uh, monarchs, um, and I could have added more, um, including some who haven't been on yet, like King Juan Carlos of Spain or Prince Sihanouk in Cambodia, simply to point out that it is an old and honorable tradition that seems to be making a comeback when countries cannot find their way and they're rent asunder by factions and so on, but they still can agree on the need for stability to invite a monarch back on the throne. And, uh, and certainly in the Balkans, in Bulgaria, in Albania, in Romania, there's, uh, there's question of that. And uh, it seems to be a trend. And uh, um, the most, uh, of course, the most felicitous example was King Juan Carlos in Spain after uh, Franco. And so King Constantine, although um, as befits a monarch in exile, although he doesn't say that that's his intention, he points out that he would not refuse such an invitation from the Greek people. He's very interesting. He's a man to watch, still quite young in his 50s. Um, his country is fascinating, rich and poor at the same time, smack dab in the Balkans, but cut off from the rest of the EEC and, uh, and trying to find its way. And so here is, speaking from London, king in exile, Constantine of Greece. Do you feel that you should have been helped more by the United States, for instance, in, in maintaining democracy? Absolutely. I think that uh, a lot of the Western countries were not strong enough in supporting the king and the democratic forces at that time to preserve the liberty of the Greek people. There's no question that that uh, point that you've made is absolutely correct, and it's the first time I've answered that in such a strong way that the West did not do enough at that time to support us against the colonels. 